Yep. We're here with Vera Graham, and she's going to show us some of her work that we have here at Cecilia Nerche Fine Arts. Vera, which piece is your favorite? I think I like this one the best. This is my COVID painting. Seeing as we're here during lockdown, this is a good one to start with. And um, at first, this was like last year, and it was a little scary when it all started because the kids were all worried and wondering about things. Will there be school or where? Will, will there be? And this one I called "Will there be strawberries?" Because you don't know is there going to be people that are going to pick the fruit. You, you know, it was all questionable when it first started. But ultimately we did get strawberries. And uh, this is a picture of uh, the field workers picking strawberries. Now, is that in Kingsville or Ruthven, Leaning Yeah, uh, it's in the general area. I kind of, um, I had a picture from when I was in a plain air event up near Bradford and I used that field mm -hmm. for the picture. And then pick people, I just kind of get people off the internet and then just fit them all in, so it's kind of like a puzzle. Oh, kind of like what Ed does, too. If he doesn't like the scene, he, he makes adjustments for it. Yeah, we manipulate the scene. That's to, right. To get the image that you're looking for, or you have in your head. The striking picture I love is the blues here. Is that Lake Erie? This is Lake Erie, and this was uh, up, done from a photo that I borrowed from Ina Vu. And you can find her on Facebook as well. And she's a photographer and an artist as well. And she let me use her photo. And so I developed it into a large piece because I just love the colors. And that's very important. You can't just take pictures off the internet and right. you have to get permission. So this is my favorite. I think it would fit well in my living room. I have blues in my living room. <laughs> So very nice. Oh, um, you've got a lot of beautiful paintings here, and I'm really sorry people can't come in and see them, but Ed's going to take a picture of each one so that we can go along. Um, we're, we're members of the Art Society of Kingsville, and Vera's been one of the founding members, I suppose, yeah, way I back in the day. Right from the start, before it was actually called uh, So that what year would that have been? Back in 2011. Wow. Yeah. So there's been artists in Kingsford for, for a long time. There are emerging artists, and we have established artists like Vera. And we're so happy to have um, the Art Society of Kingsville helping us with their artwork, showing it off here at Sissy and Nurse. This is called Wet Fields. I think it was a, uh, a farm I did on the route in between. Uh, Kingsville and Harrow. And I just love the orange and the blue, the blue against the orange, I just love it. But I've had this painting quite a while. No one else seems to love it that much as I do. <laughs> and this, this particular painting is of Fish Point at Peely Island. I took the picture of the girls walking down the beach going towards the point. And I developed the picture from that this painting from that picture and then I put the foreground in after the fact. This particular piece is called Spring Thaw and it was painting painted on site at uh, the museum, the Transportation Museum on Arnor Road and I did this with the Plain Air Painters of Windsor and Essex County. It's another group that's very active in the community. This is a painting of the field workers, and I did this when COVID first started over a year ago. And it was uh, an idea in my head that I put together from image, various images. And this is a large image, 30 by 40, and it's done from a photo I borrowed from Ina View. And she is a photographer and artist in the Kingsville area. Hey. This is a, a painting that I called She Shed. We have this beautiful pink shed in front of this house. And obviously somebody uses that to store things or maybe they use it as a getaway. But I use the medium of acrylic and I paint on hardwood. This particular piece was originally started in 2006 
and it was done for a challenge, an art challenge, where they wanted to make weather come alive. And originally I had a face in here, but ultimately I took it out, just recently I took it out and redid the piece, re reworked the piece. 